In the heyday of the Nintendo 64, you couldn't bring up the 3D platformer genre without mentioning the Banjo-Kazooie franchise. For a lot of people, these characters are a piece of Nintendo and Rareware's legacy, but for others who may not be familiar with the Baron Bird, I'm going to give a brief breakdown of some of the references and nods in the Banjo-Kazooie reveal trailer that you may have missed out on. Starting things off with the Donkey Kong Country cast, Donkey Kong Country was actually pioneered by Rare in the 90s, with both Diddy and K. Rule being characters created by Rareware rather than Nintendo. It's all the more fitting that we would get them here for the reveal. The very first direct reference to Banjo-Kazooie we get is the Jiggy bouncing across the room. Now in Banjo-Kazooie, these are the Super Mario equivalent of finding a star or power moon, and they act as the most important collectible needed in order to progress in the games. Now once Duck Hunt bursts out of the costume, the feathers that fly off are actually the same color as Kazooie's feathers, which in the Banjo-Kazooie games are also collectibles, and I'll talk a little bit more about those soon. For those who watched both the K. Rule trailer and this one, now this trailer obviously plays out as an homage to the original K. Rule reveal, but also serves as a sort of rareware reunion, explaining why these three characters are cheering for Banjo and Kazooie once they appear. This also explains the tagline that Banjo and Kazooie are raring to go. The moveset we see in the video is something I won't harp too much on, because while it's true that these moves are based on the games, I feel like Nintendo will address these in their own video. I did say, however, I'd address the feathers, so let's take a look at this one move. Banjo uses the golden feathers to gain invincibility, which is why they're able to pass through that spiky Unira without being hurt. In the Banjo-Kazooie games, you can collect red and gold feathers. The former lets you fly, and the latter grants invincibility until you run out of them. And it looks like the same case here, too. We also got to see what looks like the final smash, the Jinjonator. Now this is an ultimate weapon that was used to take on Gruntilda in the final battle, who is the main antagonist of the Banjo-Kazooie franchise. Now lucky for us, she's also in the trailer, for those wondering who this character is, she's this witch that's flying around. Her house is also behind us, that's Gruntilda's lair. She's the Bowser to Banjo-Kazooie's Mario. Now one of the last things we get to see is K. Rool smashing into the ground and being crushed by a giant boulder. Now this is actually a direct nod to the way Gruntilda was defeated in the original Banjo-Kazooie. Finally, with a great triumphant pose and all the characters cheering behind, the screen is filled with jiggies. It's a 10 by 6 grid. That's 60 jiggies, with 4 of them left out over Banjo's face. 64. Okay, so maybe that one's a bit of a stretch, but either way, this trailer had plenty of different Easter eggs for those Banjo-Kazooie fans out there, and for those who didn't know anything about the series, or wanted to know what some of those little hidden things were, now you know. I'm Stanpai, thanks for watching this video, be sure to check out some of the other stuff here on my channel, and as always, leave a comment. If you saw something I didn't mention, please tell me about it, I'd love to hear it. Until next time!